Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease, often called CMT, is one of the most common inherited neurological disorders. The condition mainly affects the peripheral nerves, which are the nerves that extend from the brain and spinal cord to the rest of your body. Think of these nerves as electrical cables that connect your brain and spinal cord to your muscles and sensory organs. When someone has CMT, these nerves degenerate and gradually lose their ability to transmit signals properly. This leads to muscle weakness and dull sensations, primarily in the feet, legs, hands, and arms. This simply means that actions we take for granted, like walking, grasping objects, or even sensing temperature changes, can become challenging for patients. Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease is progressive, meaning that its effects worsen over time. However, the rate of progression and severity can vary widely among those affected. The condition is named after the three doctors who first described it in 1886, Jean Martin Charcot, Pierre Marie, and Howard Henry Tooth. As for prevalence, it affects approximately one in every 2,500 individuals. Types of Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease CMT comes in several different forms, and understanding these types can help you better grasp how the condition might affect you or your loved one. Number 1. CMT1, demyelinating type. This is the most common form, affecting about 60% of cases. In this type, the protective coating around the nerves, called myelin, is damaged, which slows the speed of nerve signals. Imagine an electrical wire where the insulation is wearing away. That's similar to what happens in CMT1. The electricity still flows, but not efficiently. CMT1 is usually caused by the duplication of the PMP22 gene on chromosome 17 and follows an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, which means you only need one faulty gene from a parent to develop it. This form usually starts showing symptoms in childhood or adolescence. Number 2. CMT2, axonal type. This type affects the actual nerve fiber rather than its protective coating. Using our electrical wire analogy, it's like the wire itself is damaged, not just the insulation. Here, the nerve signals may travel at normal speeds, but they're weaker. CMT2 accounts for 20 to 40% of cases, and it often develops later in life and might have milder symptoms. Number 3. CMT3. This type is also known as Degerine Sodus disease, and it is a more severe form that begins in infancy. It causes significant muscle weakness and sensory problems early in life. Number 4. CMTX. This type is linked to the X chromosome and affects males more severely than females. It's like a combination of type 1 and type 2 in terms of its effects on the nerves. Causes of charcot marie Tooth Disease. CMT is primarily a genetic condition, meaning it's passed down through families. The genetic changes affect how the peripheral nerves develop and function. Different genes can be involved depending on the type of CMT, and these genes play crucial roles in either the nerve fibers themselves or their protective myelin coating. The inheritance patterns can vary. Some types are passed down in what's called an autosomal dominant pattern. This means you only need to inherit one copy of the altered gene from one parent to develop the condition. Examples of this are CMT1 and CMT2. Other types like CMT4 follow an autosomal recessive pattern, where you need to inherit altered genes from both parents. The CMTX type follows an X-linked pattern, which is why it affects males differently than females. Sometimes, CMT can occur due to a new genetic mutation, even when there's no family history of the condition. This is called a spontaneous mutation. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Symptoms of charcot marie Tooth Disease The symptoms of CMT typically develop gradually over time, and they can vary quite a bit from person to person, even within the same family. The first signs often appear in the feet and legs. People might notice they frequently trip or stumble, or their ankles feel weak. This happens because the muscles that lift the feet gradually weaken, leading to what's called foot drop. Many people develop high arches in their feet, called pes cavus, or hammer toes, where the toes curl downward. These foot deformities occur because of the imbalance between different muscle groups, as some muscles weaken more than others. As the condition progresses, muscle weakness and atrophy, or shrinking, 
can spread to the lower legs, giving them a stork leg or inverted champagne bottle appearance. This happens because the muscles in the lower leg become thinner while the thigh muscles remain relatively normal. Hand weakness and decreased fine motor skills often develop later. People might have trouble with tasks like buttoning shirts, writing, or opening jars. The small muscles in the hands can become weaker and waste away, particularly in the thumb area. Sensory symptoms are common here too. Many people experience decreased sensation in their feet and hands, making it harder to feel temperature changes or pain. Some might experience tingling or burning sensations. Balance problems are also frequent because of the combination of muscle weakness and reduced sensation in the feet. Some people develop muscle cramps, particularly after physical activity. Fatigue is another common complaint, as the body has to work harder to accomplish normal daily activities. Diagnosis of charcot mary Tooth Disease Diagnosing CMT involves several steps and different types of tests. Here's how doctors typically approach it. The process usually starts with a detailed medical history and family history. The doctor will ask about symptoms and when they started and whether any family members have similar problems. A thorough physical examination follows, where the doctor checks muscle strength, reflexes, and sensation. They'll also look for typical physical signs like foot deformities or muscle wasting. Nerve conduction studies are a crucial part of diagnosis. These tests measure how fast electrical signals travel through the nerves. In CMT, these signals are usually slowed or blocked. It's like testing the performance of those electrical wires we talked about earlier. Electromyography examines how well the muscles respond to nerve signals. This test can help determine if muscle weakness is due to nerve problems rather than a muscle condition. Genetic testing is often recommended to identify the specific gene mutations causing CMT. This can help confirm the diagnosis and determine the type of CMT, which is important for predicting how the condition might progress and planning appropriate treatment. Sometimes, a nerve biopsy might be performed, though this is less common now that genetic testing is available. Treatment for charcot mary Tooth Disease While there's no cure for CMT yet, Various treatments can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Here are the main treatment approaches. Number one, physical therapy. Physical therapy is a cornerstone of CMT treatment. A physical therapist can design an exercise program that helps maintain muscle strength and flexibility without causing overexertion. They'll teach specific exercises to improve balance and prevent falls. The therapy might include stretching exercises to prevent joint tightness and aerobic exercises that are safe and beneficial for people with CMT. Swimming and water exercises are often recommended because they put less stress on the joints while providing good resistance training. Number two, occupational therapy. Occupational therapy focuses on helping people maintain independence in daily activities. The therapist can recommend adaptive devices and techniques for tasks like writing, dressing, or cooking. They might suggest modifications to your home or workplace to make activities easier and safer. This might include things like installing grab bars, using special utensils, or learning new ways to perform familiar tasks. Number three, orthotic devices and braces. These supportive devices can significantly improve mobility and prevent injuries. Ankle foot orthoses are commonly prescribed to help with foot drop and provide stability when walking. Custom-made shoes or shoe inserts might be recommended to accommodate foot deformities and improve comfort. Some people might benefit from thumb splints or hand braces to help with grip strength and fine motor tasks. Number 4. Pain Management Various approaches can help manage pain associated with CMT. This might include medications for nerve pain, such as gabapentin or pregabalin, physical therapy techniques, and lifestyle modifications. Some people find relief through complementary therapies like acupuncture or massage, though it's important to discuss these with your healthcare provider first. Number 5. Surgical Interventions In some cases, surgery might be recommended to correct severe foot deformities or other complications. These procedures might include straightening toes, correcting ankle problems, or stabilizing weakened joints. The decision to pursue surgery depends on individual circumstances and should be carefully discussed with a healthcare team. At the end, remember, 
While CMT is a progressive condition, many people with CMT lead full, active lives with proper support and management strategies. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know live with charcot Mary tooth disease? What advice or tips would you give to someone newly diagnosed with CMT? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.